Hello, good day to you and welcome to my short presentation on how to develop research objectives. My name is Edison Lubua, a lecturer and a certified information systems auditor at the Institute of Accountants Arusha, Tanzania. Traditionally, research objectives are placed in the first chapter of the research proposal. Nevertheless, their formulation depends on the knowledge developed through the literature review. This includes the theories and the other issues current to the start. The establishment of quality research objectives is necessary to ensure an interrupted operationalization of the research process. Although it is conventional to have a general intent of the research start, it is a requirement to simplify it to specific statements of objective. These statements are used in measuring the successful completion of the start. Normally, the literature emphasizes on characteristics of these objectives, but not the formulation process. This makes the learning process difficult to learners. Now, to develop research objectives which are well reflected, I recommend the following things. Number one. Clearly identify and understand your research area. To understand different research areas available in your field, I recommend that you consult call for papers in well-rated journals or conferences in your field of study. Number two, be clear about your research topic and the key issues surrounding it. For example, you must be able to suggest the obvious output variable of your start. This will assist you in suggesting theories to review. Sometimes, it is equally possible to identify the input variable within the title, and this makes the remaining process simplified. For example, if, we, if your interest is to determine the usefulness of ICT in agriculture, then agriculture and ICT are the key themes. At this point, you can easily decide on your two or one driving variable from the themes. This will be used in formulating the general objective, but may not be suitable for specific objectives. Number three. To develop clear specific objectives, you need to understand variables surrounding key themes. This understanding can be enhanced through the review of available theories and related literature. Personal experience can be used as well. For example, if the theme is agriculture, one of the variables could be performance in agriculture. If it is ICT, it could be ICT application in agriculture. Furthermore, you may further identify factors or variables associated with the, with the existence of each of your suggestions in above. That is, in performance in agriculture and ICT application in, uh, in agriculture. And then you can relate the factors to reduce objectives. For example, a, vari a variable under ICT application in agriculture could be the ability to communicate with other stakeholders. And a variable in agriculture performance could be um, knowledge on the market. In this case, my objective could be to determine the extent to which the ability of the farmer to communicate with other stakeholders determine the knowledge about the market condition. My objective could be to determine the extent to which the ability of the farmer to communicate with other stakeholders determine the knowledge about the market condition. Now, this is a specific objective. Alternatively, you can use the factors you deduced to formulate the conceptual framework, which you will use to deduce objectives through observable relationships. Make sure that your objectives are smart and make sure that you use active verbs. This guide is most appropriate for objectives um, which are formulated within 
uh, quantitative studies or objective studies. Once again, thank you for listening. And in case you need any assistance in research or you have any question, kindly drop me an email. I'll be glad to receive and respond to you. Hello, good day to you and welcome to my short presentation.